champion of the world, Oliver the Atomic Bull McCoy. And I really respect Larry Holmes. I, he, I really enjoyed his fighting, being champion for seven and a half years. And I really enjoyed that. I'm not here to throw no smut on no one or no dirt on no one. I'm just here to tell the facts. One of the facts I must say on just one thing about what Larry Holmes said when he first stepped up here. He said the words of how he respected the WBC and Jose Suleiman, oh, I love you so and things of that nature. Let me tell you the truth. Sometimes the truth hurts, but this is the fact. He did not give up the WBC to go to the IBF because of all oh, we thought this was so American. He left the WBC because he did not fight my trainer, who was the number one contender at that time, who he was ducking and dodging, Mr. Greg Page here. So if you look back in your history books, in a way, I, I feel like stepping down and say, I ain't going to fight you. I'm going to let you redeem yourself and fight Mr. Greg Page, who you would not fight back in his day when he was the baddest out. And you know what? I want to hear a comment on that because me and Greg has got become close. And, and by me training for Larry Holmes, he's brought it up over and over. You know what, Oliver? That damn Larry Holmes. It was just some, you know, he would never give me a shot. I was the number one contender for the WBC. And you know, he do, he done a Linux, he done a Riddick Bow almost. He almost done the exact thing Riddick Bow done. But he did have enough respect not to throw the belt in the garbage. So I must give you that respect on there. He done a Riddick Bow just about, but he said, before I get in there and fight Greg Page, just like Riddick Bow said, before I get in there and fight Lenny Fluid, hey, he go to bell. So that's the true reason why Mr. Larry Holmes, in which he got up here like he was, oh man, I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry I done that, Mr. Jose Suleiman. Oh man, you know, you got me in the ratings now, and you know, the IBF didn't treat me like nothing. Know why the IBF treated you like nothing? Because you came there like nothing. You came there, you came there with disrespect to the number one contender. And that quote unquote, this is something I said the other day in the press conference. They asked me would I fight Lennox Lewis again. And know what I told him? I said, to hold the loyalty of the WBC belt, I don't care who is the number one contender. Uh, Lennox Lewis could be the number one contender for five straight years. That means when it's time for me to fight that number one contender, Lennox Lewis gonna get knocked out five straight times. So these are the things of loyalty that some champions pretend, the pretension they, they try to give the public to try to hold on to their dignity and style as far as being a heavyweight champion. Let's put the truth on the table. Let's be for real, because this is something about me. Whether I win or lose, realistically, it's going to be a realistic, I'm going to be a real champion. And I'm going to be that champion. I'm going to be that champion. Where well, you're going to say, well, Mr. McCall never turned down that number one contender. He never turned down a fight in my life. Now, good luck to Larry Holmes, and I have trained very hard and diligently. Now, off that subject, I want to get on something else. I am very happy to be heavyweight champion because I tried to beat Mike Tyson. Of course, he said how he was going to beat him up. You saw what happened. But then the second time he came back again, said, y'all right, I'm ready again. He beat a washed up, no out of shape. Ray Mercer, who came not to fight no way, he beat him up and that gave him the courage back. That was all good. He came back and thought he could fight for the he fought Holyfield. Holyfield is, is a tremendous champion himself. He keeps himself in shape, so this time he didn't have that in his field. Holyfield came in shape. He don't care who you, he's fighting. He comes prepared. All right, he lost the fight. Now he thinks that he's going to get me now, so he really didn't prepare it. I know he prepared himself because thinking that I'm inexperienced or Oliver, or I, he ain't that Tyson. He ain't that Holyfield. I think I can get him. I think I can get him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's good. But I have a big surprise. I have, to get, I have got myself in tremendous shape. I have got myself in tremendous shape. And on, on one last 
truth of knowledge by people with wisdom. It takes two, it, when, two, when you see two fools, when you two, see two people arguing, you don't know who's the fool. Well, I'm gonna let you see for yourself. Thank you very much. Thank you, champion. Hello again, everybody. Bob Sheridan here at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today is weigh-in day. Tomorrow is the big fight card. Five world championship fights on the same card. Of course, the big one, Oliver McCall, putting his WBC title on the line for the very first time against one of the greatest heavyweights of all time, the 45-year-old Larry Holmes. What this weigh-in is all about, we know Oliver is in tremendous shape. Let's find out just how good a shape he's in and how good a man 45 years old can get that body in. We'll find out right now without further ado when we go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Thank you very much, Colonel. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon to you, and we welcome you to the home of champions, Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada, as we present the official weigh-in for the big fight card coming away, the burden of proof brought to you with our weigh-in of the main event of the evening, the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing to you first the challenger to step on the scale, the former heavyweight champion of the world who defended his title 19 times the legendary challenger Easton assassin Larry Holmes 236 pounds for Larry Holmes 236 pounds for Larry Holmes And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you the defending world champion, recently brought the world title home from England. He'll be making his first defense tomorrow evening. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, known as the Atomic Bull, Oliver McCall. Mark Red. 231 pounds for the defending champion. 231 pounds. Of course, this WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World sanctioned by the World Boxing Council president in attendance here on the stage, Jose Suleiman. The official weights for Larry Holmes, 236 pounds. For Oliver McCall, 231 pounds. Promise to uphold the title of heavyweight champion. Promise to uphold the title of heavyweight champion. To defend the title against all challengers. To defend the title against all challengers. Which means I'll beat the daylight title, Larry Holmes. Forever and ever. So help my fist. McCall versus Holmes for the heavyweight title, plus three more championship fights, Saturday, April 8th, live on pay-per-view. And when it's over, I'll be champion again, just like George. McCall versus Holmes for the heavyweight title, plus three more championship fights, Saturday, April 8th, live on pay-per-view.